Hello students, in this class I will continue the other phylums. In the last class I had been discussed about the phylum Porifera. In this class we can continue the study of the phylums, the phylum Nigeria. It is known as the Cylindrita Anta. General characteristics are in general characteristics the tissue level of organization are seen in the phylum cylindrata or nidiria they are radially symmetrical they are diploblastic and acelomates habit and habitat they are completely aquatic most of them are marine sessile or free swimming yavudu sessile irthado adu yavudadru ondu substratum mage antkondu ballittirutade they are solitary or colonial digestive system is incomplete incomplete andre enu antu igagle helidive gottide nimage ಯಾವ ಪ್ರಾಣಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕೇವಲ ಒಂದೇ ಒಂದು ರಂಧ್ರ ಇರ್ತದೋ ದೋಸ್ ಅನಿಮಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕಂಟೈನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಓಪನಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಇಂಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಡ್ಜಕ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇನ್ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಡೈಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇಂಟ್ರಾ ಸೆಲ್ಯುಲಾರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಸೆಲ್ಯುಲಾರ್ ಡೈಜೆಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೀನ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಲಿಂಟ್ರೇಟಾ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಟರಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಬ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಟರಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆಬ್ಸೆಂಟ್ reproduction in nidiria we see asexual and sexual reproduction in case of asexual reproduction they produce an bud like structure that means they reproduce asexually by budding now we got budding in the reproduce mode the example hydra dal nagale tilisidave polyps ant karitave and medusa by sexually right most or separate sex external fertilization that means the fusion of both male and the female gamete takes place in an liquid media the development is indirect that means consists of an larval stage the unique features are they contains tentacles with needle blast tentacles harm like structures so ivugalella tentacles galu aa tentacles galalli one specialized cells irthave aa specialized cells galanna now nidoblast ant karithave right tentacles are the finger like structures which surrounds the mouth of the cylinder rods used for food capture and defense right they contains the specialized cells called the stinging cells present on the tentacles of the body with a poisonous filled capsule called nematocytes these are all the nematocytes which contains the poisonous fluid right the nidoblast is used for anchoring defense and to capture the prey a gastrovascular cavity cylindron with an opening or mouth uh, which is called as hypostome illi diagram in torusta idino this is the hypostome the diagram of an hydra hypostome right the mouth tentacles the gastrovascular cavity gastrodermis mesoglia diploblastic animals two germ layers in between them we see an um, jelly like substance called mesoglia so this is the body stock this is about the features of an hydra polyp and medusa see here this is the polyp this is the medusa polyp asexual reproducing structure medusa sexually reproducing structure there are two types of body forms in nidirias one is polyps and medusa polyps is a tubular attached asexual forms 
with upward directed mouth and tentacles we have seen that in the hydra example hydra admesia medusa is umbrella like free swimming sexual forms with the downward direction mouth and tentacles are in the downward direction example jellyfish or arelia unique features are metagenesis alteration of generation anna now nortave ee alteration of generation plants alli ittu adre nam nigeria dallu aa ondo alteration of generation anna nortidave adrallu heteromorphic alteration of generation anna illu nortidave it is the phenomenon shown by some nigerias in which polyps produced medusa asexually and medusa forms produces polyps sexually idanne now alteration of generation ant kariyodu now obilia dalli ee taradanna nodta bartave corals have skeleton which is made up of calcium carbonate anatomy of an stony coral polyps the examples which comes under the nigeria hydra obelia physelia which is commonly called as portuguese man of war admesia sea anemone sea pen sea fan brain coral and etc the characteristics of the phylum nigeria at a glance level of organization tissue level of organization radially symmetrical diploblastic acelomate aquatic most of them are marine sessile free swimming solitary or conolial digestive system incomplete extracellular or intracellular digestion respiratory system and circulatory system are completely absent A reproduction takes place polyp reproduce asexually and medusa reproduce sexually most of them sexes are separate the external fertilization development is internal unique features tentacles ide nidoblast cells gal idave amele gastrovascular cavity cilentron is present with a mouth or in the incomplete digestion ant igagle heldave polyp and medusa forms eradu tirudu nortave some sort alteration of generation arelia example kottidane corals have the skeleton which is made of calcium carbonate the examples of this the next phylum is tinopora commonly called as comb jelly or sea walnuts the level of organization that we see is the tissue level organization the symmetry is the radially symmetrical they are the diploblastic that consist of two germ layers that is ectoderm and endoderm coelom that is a coelomate without the coelomic cavity they are extensively marine solitary digestive system is incomplete that contains only one opening for which acts as in both mouth and anus intracellular and extracellular digestion is seen once again the same thing respiratory and the circulatory system are completely absent reproduction they reproduce only by sexual method hermaphrodite that means both male and the female sex organs are present in the same individual external fertilization no doubt where the male and the female gamete fuses in the external media that is and water development is indirect that means which contains an larval stage unique features is locomotion is by eight vertical external row of ciliated comb plates these are all the ciliated comb plates the tentacles are present 
they have the ability to emit light from the body this phenomenon is called as bioluminance adrinda idu deep sea oceans galalli ee praniyanna naavu nortta bartave so examples are pleurobankia tinoplana the complete characteristics of tinopora the level of organization tissue level organization radially symmetrical diploblastic animals acelomates they are marine extensively they are solitary incomplete digestion intracellular and extracellular digestion and nortave uh, so respiratory and circulatory system are completely absent reproduction only sexual method there is no asexual reproduction is seen hermaphrodite external fertilization development is internal is indirect that contains an larval stage unique features yavudu locomotion by eight vertical external rows of ciliated comb plates tentacles ide bioluminescence example so pleurobranchia the next phylum platyhelminthes platyhelminthes means flat worms the general characteristics of the phylum platyhelminthes in platyhelminthes we see organ and organ system level organizations they are bilaterally symmetrical example planaria they are the diploblastic animals that means they contains three germ layers ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm they are acelomates that means they does not contains the coelomic cavity the habitat mainly aquatic endoparasites and some are free living digestive system is incomplete only a single opening which acts as a mouth and anus once again both the respiratory and the circulatory system are completely absent they reproduce asexually by fragmentation and sexually by the fusion of gametes hermaphrodite that means both male and the female sex organs are present in the same individual internal fertilization development is indirect many larval stage is seen the unique features unsegmented right dorso ventrally flattened body example the tapeworm excretion by the flame cells proto nephridia excretion the removal of waste materials takes place by the specialized cells called the flame cells right in case of the tapeworm in the head we see the hooks and suckers right these are all the suckers there are all the hooks at the center of the hook we see the mouth some absorbs nutrients from the host through their body surface the examples are tinea right liver fluke and planaria so the general characteristics at glance organ and organ system level organization they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic animals consist of three layers ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm a coelomate where the coelomic cavity is completely absent they are mainly aquatic endoparasites right some are free living digestion is incomplete that consist of only one opening respiratory and circulatory system are absent reproduction asexually by fragmentation sexually by the fusion of gametes organisms are hermaphrodite internal fertilization development is indirect consist of an larval stage the unique features unsegmented right dorsoventrally flattened body except 
tapeworm because it's segmented. Excretion takes place by the specialized cells called the flame cells, which are also called as protonephridia. Parasites have hooks and suckers. Some absorb the nutrients from the host through their body surface. The example is Tinea solium planaria. The next phylum is Ascalamanthus, commonly called as round worm, Ascaris limbricoids. General characteristics the grade of organization, organ system level organization, they are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, consist of three germ layers, pseudocelomate, where the mesoderm has been formed many pouches like structure antagana falsilum or pseudocelomates antakrita hoktave they are aquatic and terrestrial free living or parasites in case of plants and animals digestive system is complete it has both mouth and the anus the tubular elementary canal with well developed muscular pharynx respiratory respiratory system and circulatory system is completely absent reproduction sexes are separate dioecious right sexual reproduction takes place by the copulatory process where male and the female individuals will come in contact the internal fertilization development is direct there is no normal uh, larval stage in some and indirect in some they contain the larval stage the unique features the body is circular in cross section syncytial that means multinucleated epidermis are seen with an thick cuticle tumba important agiruvantaddu epidermis multinucleated horabagada yenu gatti adanta charma idiyo padara idiyo adu multinucleated thick cuticle anna hondide an excretory tube to remove the body waste through the excretory pore is present sexual dimorphism is clear that means now male matte female na easy age differentiate maadabudu females are longer than the male diagram alli easy age gottide aamele ee rithiya hook like structures male alli irutade female alli aa rithiya adanta hook like structures irodilla the examples for the phylum ascalmanthes are ascaris limbricoids hookworm the characteristics in glands in in nortave organ system level organization nortave they are bilaterally symmetrical they are the triploblastic pseudocelomate right they live in the water and also in the land they are both aquatic and terrestrial free living or the parasites digestive system is complete respiratory system and circulatory system are completely absent reproduction takes place by the sexual method internal fertilization development takes place both direct and indirect unique features we see the multinucleated epidermal cells with the thick cuticle and excretory tube to remove the waste materials and the sexual dimorphism is clear ascaris limbricoids vocularia brancrafta are the examples the next is an phylum annelida annelida is commonly called as segmented worms they shows the organ system level organization they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and coelomate they are terrestrial freshwater or marine forms 
free living some on some are parasites digestive system is complete which contains mouth and the anus respiratory system illiye varage respiratory system nu nodlilla circulatory system nu nodilla illi nachage naavu eradu system naavu nodta hogtave respiratory system cutaneous respiration takes place cutaneous antandre ivugala charma moist agirutave exchange of gases agutte that is called as cutaneous respiration and some have the branchial respiration that means the gill respiration circulatory system closed circulatory system ratta kempigide due to the presence of hemoglobin closed circulatory system andre igagle nimage gottide ante kaanusutte where the blood flows in the blood capillaries and the reproduction sexual reproduction is seen earthworms and leech are monoecious right nerys is an dioecious development is in direct right illi earthworm ina ಒಂದು ರೀಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅನ್ನ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ತೋರಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮೇಲ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ರೀಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅನ್ನ ಒಂದ್ರಲ್ಲೇ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾವೆ ಅರ್ಮಾ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸಮ್ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ಯುನಿಸೆಕ್ಶುವಲ್ ಅನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ತೇವೆ ಯುನಿಕ್ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಯಾವುದು ಸೆಗ್ಮೆಂಟೇಶನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದು ರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ಟ್ಯೂಡ್ನಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸರ್ಕುಲರ್ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ helps in the locomotion s shape sheet anuvantadu navu nortave locomotory organs are sete adu s aakaradalli iruvanta ondu ridge or sete in case of earthworm and parapodia in case of nerys so right these are the parapodias in case of nerys excretion by the nephridias the paired ganglia is connected by the lateral nerves to an double ventral nerve cord the examples are the earthworm leech and nerves the general features in glands we see the organ system level organization they are bilaterally symmetrical animals they are the diploblastic animals coelomates they are terrestrial freshwater or marine forms free living on some are parasites digestive system is complete consists of an two opening that is a mouth and the anus respiratory system takes place cutaneous and also the branchial respiration circulatory system closed type of circulatory system reproduction sexual reproduction takes place right and the development is indirect consist of a larval stage in some unique features are true segments are seen longitudinal and circular muscles helps in locomotion and locomotory organs are the sete or parapodia excretions by nephridia the paired ganglia natural nerves and double ventral nerve cord perith examples are perithima postuma arthwam hirdneria lech and the nerys okay students we can study the next phylum that is phylum arthropoda which are commonly called as joint legged animals we see the organ system level organization in case of uh, the insects they are bilaterally cylindrical triploblastic and coelomates they are cosmopolitan in nature that is found all over the world it is the largest phylum in animal kingdom the digestive system is complete consists of two opening that is the mouth and the anus respiratory system consists of an respiratory organs like gills book gills trachea and book lungs circulatory system open circulatory system that means 
the blood is pumped by a heart into the body cavities which is called as hemocele and the blood is called as hemolymph reproduction mostly dioecious usually internal fertilization mostly oviparous that means egglings development we see both the direct and indirect development the unique features in case of an arthropoda is we see the jointed appendages the body has three regions head thorax and abdomen the body is covered by the chitinous exoskeleton ellaadru now one exoskeleton cover agirudu nortave excretion by malpighian tubules the sensory organs are antenna compound and simplice and statocyst balancing organ the examples yav yavdu many ide spider scorpion crab prawn and various insects the economically important insects yavdu honey bee bombax moria and lecifer vectors anopheles culex edes house flies gregarious lacosta living fossil is an king crab the unique features at the glands we see organ system level organization they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic coelomates cosmopolitan in nature that means found everywhere complete digestive system is seen respiratory system takes place by gills book gills trachea and the book lungs circulatory system is open type reproduction sexual reproduction internal fertilization direct and indirect development unique features are in north away jointed appendages there body has an head thorax and abdomen they are covered by the chitinous exoskeleton malpighian tubules for an excretory organ sense organs antenna compound and simple eyes are seen examples spider scorpio crab prawn and many insects next is the second largest phylum that is phylum mollusca commonly called as soft bodied animal right the grade of organization is an organ system level organization they are bilaterally symmetrical the triploblastic and coelomate where the true coelom is present they are aquatic and very few are terrestrial digestive system is complete consist of two opening that is a mouth and the anus respiratory system gills in aquatic forms pulmonary sac in the terrestrial forms circulatory system open type the blood is pumped by the heart into the body cavities reproduction sexes are separate right and egglings are there they are called as oviparous development is both direct or indirect unique features are the body as an head visceral mass visceral hump and thread and muscular foot head as the sensory tentacles in some we see the calcareous shells which has been covered the soft body the soft body is called as mantle the soft membrane which covers the visceral mass is an mantle the mantle cavity that is a space between the hump and the mantle contain a feather like gills for respiration and excretion a rodula rodula file like rasping organ like the files like rasping organ in the mouth it is used for feeding these are all the examples of mollusca 
snails sepia that means cattle fish spot octopus commonly called as devil fish and etc the unique characters are the complete general characteristics are they are organ system level organization bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic coelomate they are seen both in aquatic and very few are terrestrial we see the complete digestive system the respiration takes place by the gills forms the pulmonary sacs in the terrestrial forms open type of circulatory system reproduction that takes place by the fusion of gametes oviparous development is both direct and indirect the unique features the body has an head visceral mass and the muscular foot the head has a sensory tentacles the feather like gills for respiration and excretion calcareous cells mantle and radula is present the examples are you have been already seen the examples the next is echinodermata echinodermata that means spiny skinned animals echinos means spines we see the organ level of organization the symmetry the adults are radially symmetrical and the larva are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic animals we see the three germ layers ectoderm endoderm and the center mesoderms exclusively they are marine the digestive system is complete ventral mouth and the dorsal anus is in because they have been dorsal ventrally flattened so we see the mouth at the ventral side and anus at the dorsal side respiratory system where the skin gills helps in respiration water vascular system is present in case of um, the echinodermata circulatory system we see the open type of circulatory system reproduction sexes are separate external fertilization is seen where the development is indirect which consists of an um, larval stage ciliated free swimming larva is seen in case of the echinodermates unique features they have an endoskeleton of calcareous ossicles that means spiny body head is absent water vascular system is present locomotion for locomotion and respiration takes place and also the capturing and transportation of food helps by the water vascular system excretory system is completely absent the examples for the echinodermatous are starfish sea urchin echinocardium sea lily brittle star sea cucumber and etc these are all the glands of an complete features of the phylum echinodermata they show organ system level organization they are radially symmetrical and in the larval stage we see the bilaterally symmetrical animals triploblastic coelomates habit and habitat they are completely marine forms digestive system is complete right the mouth and the anus are present at the dorsal and the ventral surface respiratory system takes place by the gills and water vascular system the circulatory system is open type reproduction is sexual reproduction external fertilization development is indirect unique features body is covered by the signs calcareous endoskeletons in some water vascular system and excretory system is completely absent here Vas water vascular system is present excretory system is absent the examples are the octopus cucumber starfish and etc